Good morning, Samuel. Good morning. morning, Daniel. Monday, half seven oh, hour in. Monday, Ten was it? Hour in. Uh, no, you were. Five past. One minute. Ten past. No, that's just checking. Now it's like Biscuit. nine o'clock and we still haven't done out yet. Right, Samuel. What are you on with today? I'll show you. Go on then, let's go and have a look. So, in this van, yeah. just connecting the shower pipes up for the outside shower. And then under the sink, I'm connecting the attached pipes on the way. On the, uh, on the these? Kitchen, yeah. Right. And then once I've done that, I'm moving back into that van. And Doing your Rembrandt impression. Painting. Cupboards. Right, that won't it. That's my plan for today. Daniel. Yo. What are you on with? Oh, I know what you're doing. Uh, make some noise. Yeah, probably is nothing to be fair. He's going to make some racket by putting a 240 plug socket in there. Am I've I got right? my ear defenders, safety first and all that. Good. Are you going to set the camera up and do a time lapse? I will, aye, yeah. Good. So, Let's get them. I've got two to do. I've got this one. I'll put that somewhere along there. Needs to be a, needs to be a bit yeah, better. that one would be better. That one would be better. Yeah. So you can get the plugs in. Right. I'm going to put one down here. Well, be careful on that one because if you could, if you could put it in there next to the diesel eater, because I've left a chunk out so you can put a wire through. Perfect. So them two will be in that in that one square. So if I do it in that corner there. Yeah, because I'm going to do the lagoon on that side and on that side as a mirror image. Beautiful. Be perfect. What? You know why she wants one there? For a pottery wheel. Doing an impression of ghost. Anyway. Ah. Anyway, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you on with? Oh, what am I on with? Right, I am on with uh, some bed lats. So I'm going to rip this down. 80 mil. A lovely grain in that. 20. And I'm going to paint them. And it's for that van. Got a list in there. Yeah, I'm organised. Got a list. Lats, boxing in, electric plumbing, boxing in lights above kitchen, lagoon legs times two. Cushions, uh, have like been, they've like, been ordered, they're going to be ready for Wednesday. Looks like a spider's wrote that, doesn't it? But <laughs> Doctor's writing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go too close to you. No, because I'll punch but you. I'll I don't want, you right up. I don't want to be intimidating. Right <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll, uh, I'm going to get time lapse on that as well. You've been poorly. Yeah, very. Oh. I'm still not. I'm still not hundred percent. When have you ever been hundred percent? On that note, let's do some work. seen me cut these bed lats so now I'm gonna paint them but I'm not gonna video it because it is like watching paint dry right so I'm finally gonna get these done So that double socket's in, which does 
the induction hob and the microwave. We've put some trunking on there. I'm just going to P-clip that one just so it looks a bit neater. Piggyback off that one to go into there, which I'm just going to do now. And that runs all the way to that RCBO. Quite happy with that. We have just run out of Arctic Blue three core cable. So I'm going to go out and get some because we've also put the hole in there behind the trunking so we can run, run, run the one through for the front. Grab my pencil. Job done, plug on, USB-C and a USB-A if it focuses all right. Nice matte black, matching the light switch. Jobs are good. And it's been a bit of a day today, funny day today. Finished off, trying to get this thing over the line. And you got these two under the van. Topping away at this side, Doing diesel later. Uh, can't, I don't want to go in the van, obviously. So he has done his plug things today. Uh, doing the electrics, finishing that off. What have I been doing? I finished off the thing in the lights to box it all in so it protected. Did that one. I've done some of it at the back to cover the water. So I'm kind of done with that at the minute. So I'm starting on this one. So Samuel's finished, finished these cupboards. They look really good in black, to be fair. All nice and tight under there. All in that. And then he's done this one. Beautiful. Smooth as a baby's ass, it really is. We've put the lights up temporarily. We've powered off the... Uh, Whatever it is, whatever make that is. I don't know. Blue Etty, someone down like that. So, I've just started doing the doors for this. It's having sage green. That one. So I've just done them. M4 for the overhead cupboards. And then, once that's done, obviously, Wheel arches are all finished, cupboards will be done, all that arse end is done then. So then we can start doing board for the electrics and everything else. Plumbing, it's going to get started, it run along the bottom, back in where the kitchen's going to be. So once I've done the doors on that, I can finish the ceiling lats, we can do the shower wall. That's when they're going to go like to the window, do the wall, get all the plastics in, seating, diesel eater, you name it. All these will be going across there, across here. There's some more cupboards to do once the shower's in. So it goes pretty quick. It goes pretty quick once it's in. And these are all 15. Soft clothes as usual nice i'm going to do the shower frontal in the green but i'm going to do a little uh like a architrave for lack of a better word on a like on a traditional house going down so you'll have the green of the shower frontal then you'll have a bit of black then you'll have like a green stripe and then a bit of black again just little details you know what i mean do you like my pink cat it suits you Right, is that van on floor yet? No. no. It's in air. Oh, all right. Well, I can't show him what I've been doing then. So I have been doing. I promise you. You've done something inside. Yeah, I did all them things, didn't I? Been waiting for you. What things? In the lights. Oh yeah. And on the on the plumbing and doing the battery and 
tying all them, but back doors are shut, aren't they? Can, open back Can I? I don't. I didn't want to disturb it while you were in. I'm not. You're a cheeky person. <laughs> I see you finished the electrics. You promised me we'd be done today. Yeah, I could be done today. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't go home at like three o'clock like you. Well, I don't get in like nine o'clock like you. Half past seven, twice on trot. Twice. Anyway, box that in. That's where the waste is going to run out. That looks lovely, by the way. That's the first time I've seen that. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, battery. 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 So behind the battery, there's a piece of uh, CLS. I think you could just about see it there, carpeted, so it's pushed up against against the wall, so they're tight as a tiger. Once he's finished messing, I'll put a and make something like a battery strap to go over to hold them all in. No point until you've done. Look how safe that is. None of the cable. Have you explained it already? You no. Just keep pointing. Tell them what it is then. Well, I don't know. I forgot what it is. 300 amp. No, it's a 300 amp fuse. So even I know. But it's connected directly to the terminal. Right. So that usually you've got a little bit of cable before you hit a mega fuse. All right. Okay. So that little bit of cable is unprotected. But all of the cable is protected. Okay, and on that boring note, right, I'm off. <laughs> right, okay, so it is. What time is it? Oh, it's only 20 past three. I have to have another brew. Got another hour yet? Yeah. Get bent as well. 20 you past three. Stay, no. New. Come on. New. Come on. New. Stay with me. Right, listen. Say bye bye. Tell them it'd be Wednesday. So say when, when you we put your hand back. It's on today. Tuesday. Put your hand on it and say bye bye for Tuesday. Look how I am here. I'll oh, see you in the morning. I could screenshot this and it could be like, oh my God. No, don't, that's dramatic. We're not dramatic. See you tomorrow. Just like that, it's a Wednesday already. Right, so when I was going on last night, we mentioned about these, these doors for the overhead cupboards. Now, we use, I, I always use the same hinges, so we'll just nip over to the other van for now. So, these are all the same hinges on that one, and they'll be exactly the same hinges for, let's just turn the light on. For the kitchen, and uh, anything else with a normal opening door. So them, them, and all of these. All right, so they're all soft close. Okay, so you can see them in action, right? So we just use normal screw fix hinges. They're just, I know it's only screw fix, people think you should use specialists and all this kind of stuff, but these are the ones that we use. They are the SKU645PH. Now we get them in a pack of 10, obviously, because we use a lot of them. But these are the packs that come in. And this is what consists of that pack. So you get obviously two pair, well, I'm sorry, one pair of hinges, screws, and some cover plates to go over on that. Right, so, because these are for like a normal conventional house kitchen, they come with the screws already in. Now, if you wasn't doing your normal kitchen, you'd have like a plastic insert if you were putting it into a normal carcass, but we're not, because we make our own. So, these screws, and take them out, off the jog into the bin, no use. So then I just use wood screws then to go in that. So what there is, I'll do a bit of a time lapse. I'll get them set up and then we'll get them installed. That's it, done. It was easy as that. Right, so, like I said, they're all soft close, so you can just test it before you fit it on. Now, uh, what I like about these hinges is the adjustability, right? So, that door's in your, on your carcass, on your thing, right? So, that those adjustability on them hinges can make it go like this and like that. You can make it go like this and like that. 
and it can also make it go that way and that way. So there's so many ways of adjustment because a lot of the time you're fighting against the van because the van isn't perfectly straight. Now, when we do the lats and stuff, we do them in the middle. So everything, everything in this van, everything on this top here is marked off this lat. So everything's 18 all the way to there, to there, to there, to there. So everything has to be off that lat, right? So I know for a fact, I guarantee for a fact, because I've done that many of them, it looks perfectly level. But this end cupboard is different than that end cupboard by about 20, 30 mil. I don't know why, it's just the shape of the van or whatever it is, but you want it to look perfect. So when we're trying to do the hinges, especially on like something this big with four, four doors on, this is all one frontal. Okay, so this is one frontal with all big four cutouts in. trying to get that perfectly straight when you're installing it with the roof on a curve and everything else it can be difficult and it can be I'm not saying it is but I'm just saying it can bend that way or the other way it's quite easy to do but what you want is a nice finish on the doors so when you look at them when you look down the doors they're all level they've all got the same gaps here on the sides right so we can make all these perfectly level there no matter if it's if the ceilings like this or whatever and that's what I really like about those hinges there's so much maneuverability of them and they're also quick release which Danny showed earlier on in the video so for me it's a no-brainer five quid I think maybe less than from screw fix you know, only 30 odd quid for a pack of 10 so it can't be it must be less than five quid for a pair and they're hefele like i said i'll give you the code have a pause have a look for what i need i've done thousands i've used thousands of them hinges over the years and i'll use thousands more to be honest We've got an apprentice in today, in for the day. What's your first job? Making a coffee, lad. Who for? Me. And is he showing you how to do it properly? There's no lumps. Don't know that lumps. Done. No milk, no sugar. Easy. I like that, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so will you know how to do that next time? Yeah. Good man. Right, let's see what Fred is up to. What are you up to, Freddie? Screwdriving this, the D-plus cables. Yeah. So we've done the D-plus cable, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And now you're just tightening the cover for the fuse box. Mm -hmm. That good? Yeah, just, just do it until it's nice and tight. Perfect. So you don't have to go too tight with it because you're only screwing plastic. But just, just round like that. Hi. Is that done? Yeah, boy. Freddy. 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 <laughs> You're listening to music. Look at this. How cool is this? Through his hearing aids on Bluetooth, so he's got his music on. And then he's ear defenders over the top and he's just having a little disco aren't you? <laughs> you want me to go behind there? 
Show your dad how to use that over because he don't know. He's incapable of using it. Yeah, so any, any dust, mate, any sawdust, get it all up, thank you. Well, you're a solderer right now. Yeah, electrician. Well. Is there any skill he can do? Right. These are on. Because it's 15 mil, they do hold themselves up. 50 mil, super lightweight plywood. Yeah. And they're all soft clothes. They won't vibrate about. I'll put the, the rubbers, you know, rubber feet on that. So what we'll do now is we'll get the uh, bracket clamp things, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I've seen them earlier. Let's go get them. You have to quicken this bit up, Danny. Right, so these are relatively straightforward. So you have like a, whoops, a longer part and a shorter part. So the shorter part, goes to the back. That's how I put it on. Now sometimes the little feet, I don't know if you can see them or not, they bend so when you try and put it in, it's a bit slack. So you can adjust them, you can just pull them out so they fit in. All it is, it just looks tidy, that's all. It just looks prettier than uh, just showing the screws. You know what I mean? Oops around yeah, there we go that's done that's done i'll do that i'll do that same again things to the back who know right so i'm trying to decide now what to do next i do have another van to look at but there's some bits missing so I might just carry on and do the shower wall and this one. Right, so all them are on. We'll have a race. Who wins? It's close. Right, so as you can see, they're all level. Nice gaps. All the same gaps going round. All around that. Looks nice, nice and tight. It looks nice with this surround. Everything. Job done. It is 13.49. Frederick's busy. We've done no filming since about eight o'clock because we keep forgetting. Look at these t-shirts on. Branded. Electricians now. Two sparkies now. What have you been doing, Daniel? <laughs> Any uh, what have I been doing? Sorting all this trunking out. Which is trickier than what you think. But is that tricky? There's two of them on it. Oh, he's doing something. What's he done? Diesel eater. I've been running wires and soldering and stuff. Been, look at this mess. Look at the tools everywhere. Jesus. Oh, I did the inverter switch as well. Can we see them? I haven't checked if they're level yet, should I go and check? No. <laughs> <laughs> go and check it. You can be live on camera. You're going to have to edit that bit out. You're alright then. I have to edit it so it's wrong. Are they level? Yeah, they're alright actually. How first many holes are behind first, it? First thing is done right though. The right amount of holes. I've even taken my sure battery, so I did the motherboards and everything. Shut up you, no wrong with that. Perfect. For him, for a bog-eyed ginger, that's sound. <laughs> well, that's just for you. <laughs> Intimidating. Workplace, look, I can't, look at all this shite in here. Look at it. Had it tidy. So you, you assured me. It's nearly done. You assured me it'll be done. done. Well, not yet, it's not, because there's no plug in there yet. That's Samuel. That doesn't look complete, I tell you that. 
I was just thinking, you know, where's that blue cable come from? Me and you drilled it yesterday, I forgot about it. What uh, the frig are you filming there? All of it. Filming inside. You, you, you're literally talking. And I know, I don't need to go like that, do I? We're logging on, you know what I mean? No, I'm you just doing it like that. Put it at Sam or yeah, we'll, we'll lose subscribers if he goes on it. <laughs> we are losing a few. Not as many as I am on Beachwood. Is it going down? Yeah, one I got. 5,000, 400 or something. It was 5,600. Subscribe to the Beachwoods. Subscribe to the Beachwoods if you want a video once every three and a half years. <laughs> I've done more video in this week than I've done it last two years. Right, this is starting to look nice now. Right, well, hopefully by end of today. Oh, I, my switch. What switch? What's that put, for? Put water pump. So when your water's empty, ah, these right, don't come okay. with the switch on. I wondered what that extra wire was for. Yeah, so we put that switch in, and then right. if you look on there, because there's no fuse in it, because there's no water in it, but on. Oh, awesome. Oh, I did wonder what you were bugging about with, but I didn't want to ask. No, no, it's good though, isn't right. it? I need Just you. Peak <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep that it. out, he says. Keep that out, he's right in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he, Ginger says. <laughs> Angry Ginge. Right, so we'll... Uh, Whoa, what's he doing with my front hole? Destroying it because oh, I going. need to take it off. I'm going before this chaos. <laughs> Trying to eat my wrap in peace and I can't even do that. Sticking camera right up in my He's face. He's eating his wrap because Jazz will shout at him if he doesn't. She will do. Home. And it is... And this is my proof of me eating it. 1546. He's only eating it because he's going to... It's all them big Mackies you had, fat pig. Daniel, yeah. don't like, don't like work. No? Yeah. All right, okay. I just had it turned off so I was safe when I was doing a few all bits. Right. If you shift your big bod. Give me two sets. All right, then the viewers can see how hard you've been working. Working. I'm losing my pants here. You don't want to see that. No, you're right. We don't want to see that. Oh, my knees. Let me move snappy. So you, you were just telling me, this is what they do in interviews, you see. They say, you were just telling me off, off camera <laughs> that you could have put some blue chunk in on that uh, diesel liter wire. Yeah. And, oh, well, you've done the black one, haven't you? It's yeah, I've just tin. done that one now. Right, so then tomorrow, there's bed lats to do, bed frames to do, this bed back painted and done and dusted we're going to test everything we're going to label everything up he's still eating his wrap i don't yep. know what i ain't got a clue what he's done yeah, today yeah. i ain't got a clue what he's been doing today me you yeah what have you done done a lot That's a... your son's missing i don't know I where don't know. he is he son's missing <laughs> what's he been doing what have you been doing sam and your get is as good as mine, Rick. You could have asked me to explain all this before I was eating. No, oh, because we're going home. Danny wants to think so we can do his editing. Run wires. We'll run the 240 wire around and the diesel heat wire. Right. Wired it up, put the hose in, put that plug on. So is the... Oh, right. So the fuel, the fuel line's in? Yeah, it's all connected underneath and everything. Exhaust is all done. That needs fixing up. Oh, I'm gonna just about say to you, then you've done a good job, and then you screwed it. These, the inverter switch, and this took it apart and unsoldered and resoldered. Proper electrician. Too much effort. Um, you put, no, no, no it's worth it. It's worth it. You've done a good job. I need. Um, I give you that. I can't remember. Did you get so, that plug in there? Oh yeah. You haven't hoovered it though, have you? No. Nope. No. Okay. I'll tidy it up. Right. So all we need to do is the exhaust. Am I right? and air filter underneath, mm. just time up. That's Happy cool. day, so we can try that tomorrow. It'll take you an hour to tidy up. Probably. Uh, look at this, get bomb sight. And what have I been doing? <laughs> right, well I've turned the lights off so you can't really see because everything's painted black. So I finished them off, as you've seen earlier. I've made another uh, little cupboard. Can't even see it in this light turn lights off so that's like for spices and bits and pieces and there's a a light switch routed in on uh, sorry a, a, not a light switch what do you call it a rail Have you not what do i call it i've turned them off i just charged it up aren't i so 
dark as a bugger. Dark as a bugger. <laughs> Don't know what a bugger is, how dark a bugger is. So then tomorrow, whoop, we are on what's affect affectionately known as the pig van. Right, so we are, I'm on here tomorrow. So again, the kitchen's been done elsewhere, pop top's been done elsewhere. Uh, I'm gonna put the sink, so I need to pull the worktop out, put the sink in. It's having a sterling single induction hob, which has got a control panel on. So I'm hoping the control panel can go in that top bit there. Water waste into that one. So that's tomorrow's job for me, as well as trying to finish off the other van. Right, we've got one of our old vans back in. Don't think we've filmed this today, have we? No, we, we didn't film this when it went out, so... No, going. well, oh, you was an order for a change. <laughs> yeah. So this has come back because it's having a, is it a double or single swivel? A uh, single, it's got a double. It's having a single swivel. I can't see. Single swivel seat. Right, changing. What else is it? The, uh, mm. this light's gone. Oh yeah, right. There's, there's a switch on this, the LX. Oh no, it does half work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on not, the same. Yeah. Uh, because the fuse is out, that's why. Yeah, so Alexa, so that, a couple of little, but that needs changing and that's it. I, th I think what's happened on this, if truth be told, so in inside here, there's a positive and a negative, and they're literally a millimetre away from each other. So I think it when it's been soldered in... It did work at first. Yeah, and, and then, then it, if, it, if it, I remember it, rightly, that fell down. It fell off, and it ended up in the shower. I don't know how, it, honestly, <laughs> it went ding, 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 in the shower. So, yeah, I think so. It, that is, so I think the positive and the negative are touching each other, because whenever you yeah. put a fuse in, it just blows, so... I've got to take that off and have a look in but there. You can see the difference in it, how bright they are. Oh, they look, they look, they look, they look bright on here, <laughs> but compared to like sunshine bright now, because these have the dark diffusers. But we've stopped using them now, just use the, the light ones. But it's nice to see them lived in, you know, quilt, flowers on the back. They've been away in this and they absolutely love it, don't they? Oh, oh see? Yeah. It, it was literally it's rammed in there. It's full of, full <laughs> so of stuff in there. Us. All rammed in, all bits and pieces. To, to be fair, to, to be fair to Steve. Oh, look, I'm, I'm gonna have a look in his cupboards. Don't watch, Steve. That's what it's meant to be. Look, air fryers down there. It's meant to be lived in. See if they still soft claws there. Yeah. Oh, baby. When Steve took this. He sent me a message. I'll see if I can put it on screen now. And don't get me wrong, we want to earn a few quid by doing this. But when we get messages like this coming through, and how much it actually means to him, this van is it, it makes everything worth it. All the stress that we go through and everything. What the hell? I just want to mention with the James at First Flooring Beautiful, did the herring bone on this with a border on it. He is the man for this, I'm telling you. That we only had pictures last time, good. we didn't actually have any footage, so hopefully before it goes, we'll show it all. But it's amazing, absolutely. I love it when they come back and they're lived in. Anyway, right, it's home time, isn't it? Because you need to start editing this because I've done about four hours <laughs> of filming. Again, I don't know who you were pointing that at over there. <laughs> Nobody. What's Freddy doing here? We're having Freddy. Let's have a look. <laughs> So Freddy's come today to work. 20 quid for day. Look at these two. Even Sam's out here. Yeah. What's this wheelie? I did it, Rob. Pop a wheelie, Sam. I can't, I'm just to pop my heart. <laughs> right, that's day done for today. And we'll see you tomorrow.